Hello everyone. Welcome back to Through Sushmita's Eyes. If you are liking my videos, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive future notifications. I'm dedicating this video to two important days. International Day of Clean Air for Blue Skies, which was celebrated for the first time this year on September 7. And International Ozone Day which falls on September 16 Clean air and green land are the most voiced out needs of the hour In the winters of 2017 I had visited the Ross Island situated at the South Andaman Islands surrounded by the Bay of Bengal this small mass of land holds surreal beauty In December 2018 it was renamed as Nitaji Subhash Chandra Bose Island. The place was like a colorful buffet of flora and fauna in all its greenery flanked by the blue waters. I began exploring the little paradise walking along the railings looking over the sea. There was a carrier ship few tourist boats. This island also has a beautiful collection of some of the oldest british and japanese structures in india a look towards the sky made me realize that i was being watched it was a beautiful white pellet sea eagle scientifically known as heliaetes leucogaster It glided effortlessly all over the water body. This species is found in the coastal regions of India, Bangladesh, Myanmar, China, Australia, Taiwan, Vietnam, Indonesia, Philippines, and other Southeast Asian countries. It's a non-migrant species which can grow up to a size of around 71 centimeters. The adult of this species has a white head, chest, tail and underwing coverts. The upper parts are slaty gray and black. The tail is short and wedge shaped. Their large hooked bill is a gray with a darker tip. I was mesmerized watching the white bird with black outer wings soaring high above. continuously hovering over the sea they have been fondly decorated within the folklores of the indigenous tribes of australia This bird hunts mainly aquatic species like fish, sea snakes and turtles. It also feeds on water birds like coots, penguins, mammals like foxes, and sometimes they eat carrion too. In short, they are opportunistic feeders. IUCN has given it the status of being least concerned. The binoculars could provide a view with certain limitations. So, I had wished if it could have swooped down nearer at least once. Thank you for watching.